Step 1. Join our Discord server and navigate to the Free Assets tab. You'll want to download the Pop UI Unity package and then import that into your project. Step 2. Add a new room options for max players. You will want to set this for however many spawn points you have. In my case, I have 15. Step 3. Go to our onjoined room method and remove the code that generates a random index. We will replace this with photonnetwork.localplayer.actor number. Thank you, David, for suggesting this in the comments. Next, let's create a new scene called Master Scene. This scene will contain things like our Join button, our Host button. It will also contain our Character Select and our Cosmetics Inventory menu. Add a new canvas. Add a new panel and give it a nice color. Add a green button. Add a red button. Rename the buttons to Quit Join and Quit. Add a panel to the left hand side that will contain all our main UI. Add a new UI text component that will display our username. We will now make the Playfab Authenticator a singleton that will not be destroyed on scene changes. Create a new static string username. When we have authenticated with Photon, we want to set our username to our login user text. In our Photon Manager, we now want to be using UnityEngine.Scene Management. When we are connected to the master server, we now want to load our master scene. Create a new method called create new room, and then we want to call photon network .join or create room. Add another new method called quick join, which we'll then call photon network .join random room. Let's now listen for the scene loaded callback. We will now add a tag to our quit join button and our quit button. We now want to be using unityengine.ui. Inside scene loaded, we now want to be finding our quick join button, getting the button component, and adding a new listener for our quick join method. Next, we only want to be checking all of this if we are currently inside of the master scene. Next, let's give our username text a tag. In our Photon Manager, again in our scene loaded method, we now want to be finding our username tag and we want to be setting the text of that component to our Playfab Authenticator .username. Add a new blue button and change the text to host. Give the host button a new tag. We are just going to make a quick edit to our create new room. We are just going to generate a random room ID and use that as a room name. Let's now duplicate our login scene, which contains all of our gameplay. And after that, we want to delete all of our UI. This scene will now only be used to run the game. There should be no UI other than status indicators for our players, such as health and maybe uh, energy, things like that. But everything else we will now remove. In our scene loaded callback, we will now check if we are inside of the game scene. If we are, we want to find all the game objects tagged spawn point. If you are using the prefabs from the Discord server, all the spawn points have already been tagged for you. The spawn points will then be added into a new list. Above this, we now want to find our host button, and we now want to create a new room inside of the listener. Above our for each loop for finding our spawn points, we want to clear our spawn point list. And for our spawn points themselves, we no longer want to be getting the child of the transform, but instead just the transform of that spawn point itself. And let's not forget to set all of our anchors for our UI. If we do not correctly set our anchors, then our UI will be all messed up depending on the resolution that the game is currently being run on. Next, we actually want to move our Photon Network Instantiate code over to a new coroutine. We then want to start this coroutine on joined room, and on joined room, we want to say Photon Network is messaging queue running true. And instead of using a normal scene load, we want to use photon network load level, and we want to load our main game loop. And now, if you have done everything correctly up until this point, any user who now presses the host button will start their own new room, and any user who presses the quick join button will join any room that is currently opened. So if a room hits the max player count, no one else will be able to join that room. 
And on top of this, the players will now spawn incrementally depending on their actor number in Photon. Hey guys, Lawrence from Express Unity. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the fourth episode for our Fall Guys clone videos. If you did, give the video a like and subscribe. Come join our Discord server if you need any help or if you just want to download or use any of the assets that I've released. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.